Well, everybody, have you heard about this? There's a major mystery going on in a North Olmsted neighborhood, and tonight we have new information. We first brought you this story last night at 11. The people who live in that neighborhood say their key fobs and their garage door openers simply stop working, and they're stumped as to why. So we sent Channel 3's Andrew Horansky and an expert out looking for answers with a special device to help track down the source of this issue. Andrew, what did you guys find? Well, I can tell you today, Betsy and Sarah, we weren't alone here. First Energy was also trying to get to the bottom of the mystery with us to see what's causing certain frequencies here not to work. For weeks, it's been a problem along Virginia Avenue in North Olmsted, which AT&T, Spectrum, and today First Energy all tried to pinpoint what it is keeping car doors and garage doors from opening by remote. The reason these devices aren't working is because something is proactively putting out uh, enough interference at the same frequency as what they, they run on. I've tried with our, our local law enforcement folks. Nobody has equipment that is designed for this. I don't know. I mean, I guess we just keep keep trying with this until we figure it out. Well, today we turn to one of our best. It is weird, isn't it? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Retired Channel 3 engineer Dave Cushman, who's worked with frequencies since his teens. Now, that's a pretty strong signal here. He hooked up a $15,000 spectrum analyzer to our truck to help us find the problem. That's a broad spectrum. His belief it's somewhere at the top of this pole at the center of the block. Without getting closer, though, it was only a guess. Do I have suspicions? Yeah. It's very difficult to find it. You really got to get to the strongest area. I hope that you're right. <laughs> While First Energy ruled out whatever it is isn't powered by these homes, turning off power today only to find the frequency stayed as strong. And this may not be the only problem spot. Late this afternoon, we heard similar complaints on West 229th and Fairview Park. And the experts I spoke with today, by the way, do not believe that this is a dangerous interference. We also want to point out that other electronic devices appear to be working fine, things like Wi-Fi and cell phones. Not dangerous, Drew, but simply annoying because we really rely on those conveniences, <laughs> don't we? Hopefully they get yeah, it figured sure. out. Thanks, Drew.